change. But before we carry on with the conversation from this end, Code Leader Raila Odinga is currently addressing the press at the Capitol Hill. Let's just cross over and hear what the opposition, opposition chief, Ebegi Pardon, has to say. There are going to be continuous consultations, not maybe at this level, but at the other technical levels, so that um, any misunderstanding, fears, uh, and concerns can be addressed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Uh, members of the media, good afternoon. Uh, I want to inform you that I and my commissioners, as part of our stakeholder engagement, which provided for, uh, we yesterday we were at State House to meet the head of state as part of that stakeholder engagement. We have also met the members of the foreign missions, the donor communities and the ambassadors from Europe, USA, and uh, other countries. We have also met the political parties liaison committee. Uh, we, have, we, met, we started off also with the religious leaders. So we want to reach out to all parties who are stakeholders in the elections. And this coming here today is part of that outreach activity to engage the stakeholders. We want to involve everybody in the process. We have listened to what uh, NASA has to say. We have discussed some of the issues. We are going back to our office to deal with the remainder of the issues which they have raised through our technical committees. So yes, this is important for us as a commission because we are committed to deliver free, fair and credible election come August 8th uh, this year. And uh, I want to thank uh, the NASA team for the, uh, the good engagement. We have had fruitful uh, discussions and we shall continue to do so. And our doors are open as a commission. We have informed them that our doors are open. If there are any issues, uh, please engage us so that we can move forward together. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, have a lovely afternoon. Yes, um, yes, we have in the past raised concerns about what we consider to be irregularities in terms of preparation for the elections. And uh, we have said so many times that this country cannot afford another flawed electoral process. So we have uh, brought our concerns to the attention of the uh, Electoral Commission uh, and, and asked them to address them. So as we hear the chairman says, they are going to address some of those, those concerns. Uh, we, we are not able to give you full details here, but um, there, there are, of course, uh, others. Like you remember the issue of uh, uh, double registration, which they have admitted, the issues of using some fake ID cards to register people uh, as voters, like we demonstrated to you the other day. Uh, there are th those you, you have raised. The issue of um, those who registered as NYS, seeking jobs with NYS, the entire NYS uh, register finding its way into the IBC register. Uh, those are issues of, of concern. At what point uh, did this happen? Uh, those are some of the issues which we, 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 we have raised. Uh, and, and also the fact that uh, civil servants are being used um, and, and empowered using state resources to uh, uh, facilitate registration of, of voters in certain areas 
and not in other areas. In other areas, they're being restrained from participating. Also, these issues of ID cards, which uh, are not being issued uh, promptly and on a timely basis, as the president directed in some regions, whereas they are being, the opposite is being done in the uh, so, so called favored regions. And this is what is accounting for lower registration in some parts of the country compared to other parts of the country. Uh, yet um, um, politicians are the ones who are being blamed. This is the responsibility of the IBC. So all this we have raised. Um, I don't want to go into all the details, but as I'm saying, we have presented the IBC with a memorandum, and they said they promised that they're going to uh, address some of those uh, concerns. Tumesema kwanza tuseme tumekuwa leo na mkutano na tume ya uchaguzi uh, sisi kama washikadau kwa uchaguzi uh, tuna furaha ya kwamba wamekuja na tumepata fursa ya kuwaeleza yale ambayo sisi tunaona kama changamoto katika hii uchaguzi ambayo inayokuja uh, tumewaambia yale ambayo sisi tunafikiria inaweza kuleta nukusi katika uchaguzi inayokuja na sasa ni jukumu lao hatuwezi kusema yale yote ambayo tumezungumza nao hapa katika hii press conference lakini tumesema yote na wao vile vile wametuambia na wakatueleza ile changamoto ambayo wako naye kama tume na wakasema wanataka ushirikiano na washikadau wote kwa uchaguzi pande zote ili wabaki kama wastani kama wale ambao watakuwa kama rifari na tumemwambia hatutaki kuona kama wamevaa nguo ya uh, timu yoyote wanakaa hapo katikati katika maeneo inayosimulwa mkono kwa wivi na jibini imepeleka kifaa vingi lakini maeneo inaundwa kwa na code ni chake labda ulipata fursa ya kuongea na mwenyekiti akakufikishia kweli hilo unayodai ni kweli ama si kweli lakini hiyo sio mimi lakini simeoleana jibuli juzi ya kilalamika ati tume ilipeleka vifaa vingi zaidi kwa eneo za code kuliko wao yule mkurugenzi wa wa wajubili bana tuju ndani uh, yale ambayo tumesema ni ya kwamba uh, uh, mambo ya kupeana vitambulisho haifanyi kwa njia ya haraka kama vile rais alikuwa ameamuru kwenye zingine ambayo wanasema sio hawana wafasi wengi wao kama wajubili tena tumeona kama machifu wanapewa pesa ya kupiga simu kuuliza watu wajitokeze na waende wajiandikishe kama wapiga jikura tumeona kama watumishi wa umma wametoka katika kazi hiyo wanaenda sasa kila mahali umeona kama mfano kule upande ya Nyeri ati jemedari msafu sasa ndio ana anachea mkutano ya kisiasa na kutoa watu na kumbe yeye bado ni mtumishi wa umma sasa tunasema hii inekauka sheria maneno sheria hairuhusu watumishi wa umma kutumiwa kwa njia ya kisiasa lakini vile vile tumesema tunataka kuona kama tume inaangalia mambo haya na inasumuzia mambo kama haya sisi tumesema eneo zingine watu wajitokezi kwa wengi maneno hawana vitambulisho ukienda kama eneo za magharibi au eneo za Kenya ya, ya, ya Nyanza au pwani utakuta kama mstari ya watu ambao wanahitaji vitambulisho ni mrefu zaidi kuliko wale ambao wanajisajilisha sababu gani 
vijana hawana vitambulisho so upande mwingine yeye unasema kama alishabali oh eneo zingine za Raila watu wajajitokeza zaidi lakini watu wangu wanajitokeza namna gani na hawana vitambulisho na vitambulisho imekaliwa hapa na mtu mmoja anaitwa nani Kimodo eh anaitwa Kimodo bwana Kimodo ndiye amekalia hizi vitambulisho kwa hivyo sisi tunataka kuona kama uchaguzi inafanyika kwa njia ya haki na ukweli haki ya ukweli inamaanisha ya kwamba kila mkenya ambaye ametimu umri ya kufika kura amewezeshwa yani amepata kitambulisho na amepewa fursa ya kujiandikisha kama mpigaji kura hiyo ndiyo itahakikisha kwamba wakenya wanaenda kwa hiyo uchaguzi kama uwanja iko wazi na iko sawa Um, my name is uh, Enox Ikonia. I report for NTV. Now, uh, probably I would like uh, the chairman of IBC to answer me this question. That's for you. So, um, the, 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 the opposition, a key player in uh, Kenya's election, raised fundamental issues. One of the issues they raised is that a former cabinet secretary um, who also worked as an official of the electoral body was being used to manipulate records at IBC. And though you've come in uh, this time, but you've talked with them, but even before that, probably you are looking at those allegations that just they're not just allegations that cannot be brushed aside. Um, so my question to you is, have you looked into them? And, um, and also the ICT department, which they've raised that probably or might be compromised. Have you looked into them? And when uh, do you I like to see yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, the issue of uh, former uh, cabinet secretary, uh, that issue has not reached my, my desk. Uh, what I try to do uh, is uh, respond to correspondence which reaches me on my desk. Uh, if it is uh, correspondence dealing with the social media, we also have a way of dealing with it. But perhaps it could be part of the, the document which I'm carrying. I've not read it. Uh, there are a lot of things which uh, uh, NASA has put in writing. Uh, we shall go and look at them. If it's part of the, 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 the questions in that document, we shall deal with it. But I want to just say this. Um, as a commission, yes, we are new in office, but we are committed to the work. We are looking at all systems in place, which are currently there to ensure that there are no loopholes in the, whether it's uh, the issue of uh, ICT or any other issue, whether it's uh, procurement or other areas, human resource. But are we likely to have a response that actually you looked at the issues, uh, especially that issue, because it has been in the media. I, I guess you watch TV, I guess you read newspapers. Okay, you are, you, are, you are saying a former cabinet secretary interfering with the IBC now? To the ICT department, uh, like being compromised. Now, that what I want to say is this we have moved in, we are looking at all systems, and as you can see, since we went in office, we, are, we came out and said, Look, there's a problem with the register, and we, we owned the problem, and we are dealing with the problem. Now, if there's any other problem, I can assure you anything that interferes with the proper progress being made towards the elections, we shall deal with it. You know, uh, there are a lot of things which we see here and there, but you see, if the issue is properly framed and uh, given to me and my team, we shall deal with it. I, think we should, uh, I hope you are the last.